everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO, and I'm so excited today. I have a great order to show you from GBFKE. And one of the items I've been especially excited about because it's a little bit something different that I think might be helpful to, um, to you to everyone um, out here in the diamond painting community, especially if you are someone who likes to do off canvas items. Um, this could be especially helpful, this product that I'm gonna show you. Um, we'll wait till the end to do that because I gotta, you know, get some stuff out onto my table and um, I'll, so I'll, we'll start with the diamond paintings and then we'll get to that other special item at the end. So let's get started. Um, this again is from GBFKE, so I wanna say thank you to them for another order from them. I enjoy working with them a lot. They are really nice people over there. And let's see what the first item that I chose is this adorable snowman. Aw, isn't he cute? Doesn't he just remind you of a cute little 70s snowman? I absolutely love him. Super cute. Now he is printed in the pixel method. So he's not picture printed. This one is actually pixel printed. So you can see the difference there where every pixel makes up a part of the picture rather than having the picture on the canvas and the um, uh, drill field superimposed on top. So that makes it a little bit different. You're still gonna come out with a good result, especially with a simple image like this. Um, he's just a snowman standing in some holiday greenery. He's got a really nice background. The background is a nice mix of different drill colors. So you're gonna have a little bit of opportunity for some multi-placing, but it's gonna be you know more or less confetti in the background. There are, I'm sorry, 20 different drill types and it's a combination of letters and numbers and symbols. So we do have a, the full array of all of them. Um, the stickiness is very, very good. He's extremely sticky. And the symbol clarity is good. I don't think you'll have a problem seeing any of those symbols. You may need some of these symbols here are the ones that are, have dark backgrounds are printed um, with you know white lettering. Um, they may be a little bit, I'm, I don't have my glasses on right now, so I might, once I have my glasses on, I don't think I'll have a problem um, at all. But yes, the symbols are all very nice and clear and I don't see anything that looks like it's gonna get confused for another symbol. You know what I mean? Like two things that are close to one another that you might not be sure if it's one or the other. I don't see any, like there's no D's and O's or, or K's and X's or stuff like that. So those are the kind of things you wanna watch out for. And I don't see that at all with this one. So that's good. It comes with, every diamond painting should come with a standard toolkit with a bow, a plate of wax, and a pen. So just what you need for diamond painting if you've never diamond painted before. Um, I won't show you that in the rest of the kits unless it has something special in it. But just know that if you're a beginner, you are gonna get that, or you should get that with every kit that you receive. So now let's take a look at the drills. Um, like I said, there are 20 different colors. We're gonna have a lot of blue in this, a lot of different blues. And oh my gosh, I can see some beautiful blues already. So ooh, we have first, we'll start out with this very bright, vibrant red, some dusty pink, this beautiful, vibrant blue, red, red, black is that black or is that 939 let's see five 823 my bad 823 navy blue mustard hunter green burgundy a dusty light blue a dark army green now this one's probably 939 yep this one's 939 dark blue the drills look really nice Nice flat backs. I can tell these dark drills are nice and sparkly. Um, I'm not seeing any trash in there. I got a couple hitchhikers in this Elizabeth pink color, but that's all. Just, you're always gonna have that. Um, they just like to, you know, take a ride with different colors sometimes. Some sage green, some salmony pink, light gray, very, very light, uh, 
blue, like very light blue. Then these two beautiful colors of blue. These are gonna be the darker parts of your background. Actually, look at these three colors together. Those are really nice. So those are gonna blend probably with the other blues to form your background. And then of course we have white for the snowman himself. And it's 3865 white. Um, so those are the 20 colors that are gonna make up Mr. Little Snow Baby there. And he looks like a snow baby, not a snowman. He's got his cute little stocking cap on. He's very cute. Cute little striped stocking cap. Adorable. All right, so that is our first item. And let me just get these gels back in the bag and we'll move right along. I'm not sure what to expect from the, all. I don't remember everything that was in this order. I just opened one thing to see who it was from. So this is gonna be a surprise for me at the same time as it's a surprise for you. And oh, look at this. Is that not perfect? If that is not a perfect country Christmas, I don't know what is. That is just amazing. So this is a little bit different of a size. This is a 45 by 30. So it's a little bit longer than your traditional, you know, 40 by 30, obviously. It's by five centimeters, right? Right. Um, but it is, and it's, you know, landscaped. So it's so cute though, with that cute barn, with the wreaths and the decorated Christmas tree. And then you've got your red truck, of course, down here at the bottom with a Christmas tree in the background. He's got a wreath on his front grill, a sign that says farm, and very nice moonlit trees in the background and some clouds. It's a nighttime scene. Um, very pretty. You got lights lit in the barn. You know what would be cool is if you substituted out and put some ABs into these lights um, that are sh shining from the barn and some ABs around these lanterns where it shows the glowing light. That would look really cool. I'm just going to peel this. This is a pretty pliable canvas, but um, I'm just going to roll this back on here so we can see if that'll give it some give and let it lie flat a little bit. Hold it back. Roll it the other way for a second. That usually helps let them relax out pretty quickly. And that way you can see it while we talk about the drills. And it still looks a little wrinkly, but that's okay. You get the gist of it. Perfect country scene. Love it. Super cute. So it has 24 colors and the key is all letters, which I know I love those kind of keys. Now this one is a picture printed and most of the ones that I've been getting lately are picture printed. So the picture is on the image or on the canvas and then the drill field has been superimposed on top. Um, very sticky. So it's got a really decent stick on it. And let's see what our 24 colors are. We've got we're going to start out with some purple. This is probably 154 purple. Some 321 red. Love that red. Some army green. Dark gray. Light gray. Creamish gray. 666 red. Kelly green. Some nice cobalt blue a kind of a darker country blue, followed by a regular, two more blues, or kind of in the same hue. So those three are probably gonna be our background and our sky, and those are gonna blend really nicely together. There is quite a bit of confetti in this. Not it, in fact, it's all confetti, complete confetti. Some Elizabeth pink, some burgundy, some copper, some very dark green, a lighter green, beige, some light yellow, some salmon, pink. These drills look really nice too. Dark blue, very light mint, 
very pale yellow and white not very much white for well I guess there's really not that much white that shows in there and those are your 24 colors that are going to go into this diamond painting and this one's going to be a stunner this one's going to be really nice when it's finished and I think that if you had some extra ABs lying around if you wanted to add some into the snow and like I said add some into the um around the lights I think that that would be that would really set this off. That would really make it cute. So that is the second one that I ordered. And let's get into it. It's the next one and see what it is. We should be nearing the end of all of my Christmas ones pretty soon. Aw, oh, and I just had to get this one. It was just too cute to pass up. This is an adorable little 30 by 30, and it's just two little teddy bears holding a gift. And I thought that this would be so cute for my granddaughters. It kind of reminded me of them, and I thought that that would be just super cute for them to hang in their bedroom during the holiday season, and I loved it. I, th I think it's adorable. Now, these were, there are words on here on this tag for this Christmas gift. You're not going to be able to read those. Um, it's just what it, uh, you know, and I, and I knew that um, going in, but it's still going to give the gist of it's a tag. It's got words on it, which I think is going to be fine for this diamond painting. And I'm, I'm good with it. I'm okay with it. So the drill field is nice and clear. We've got all letters for our legend. Um, 23 colors, super stick canvas, very sticky. Love, love, love it when I have nice sticky canvases. It's a nice pliable canvas, so it's going to flatten out reasonably quickly. Um, let's take a look at our drills. These drills are the kind in the strips with the white stripe, and I kind of been preferential to these. I, I kind of like these um, drills that come like this. Not that I've had, you know, bad drills. I, I mean, I've had bad drills, but not that the other ones I just showed you were bad drills, but I kind of like these drills. Purple, gray, red, kind of a grungy green, dark gray, light gray, Caramel, tan, Kelly green, sherbet orange, another pale gray, mustard, blue, kind of a royal blue, burgundy, navy blue, dark green, chocolate brown, navy blue, uh, cream, and another, a brownish pink kind of a color. And those are the 23 colors that are gonna go into these adorable little teddy bears. And there it is going to be, yeah, it's all pretty much confetti. So I like that, keeps it interesting when you're diamond painting. Um, oh, I got a few more here. Sorry, I didn't see these. White, of course, gotta have some white with that bear. What was I thinking? some um, kind of a gold color and another blue. Very pretty, very cute. This is just a whimsical, cute little fun 30 by 30. You can get this done in no time. Love having small little projects like that sitting around um, for when I just feel like a break from a big project. You can, you know, get this done in a day or so and um, have a cute little gift to give or put it up in your own house. So that is the third item. And let's get into the next one. Set him off to the side. Well, let's keep them so we can see them. They're cute. They're cute, cute, cute. I can get in here. We'll get to the next one. Ooh, this is a nice pliable canvas too. And oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, 
Someone commented, and this is so funny. Someone commented that cows were my new chickens because I've been ordering a lot of cow diamond paintings lately. And it's true. Um, I have been getting into cows and I've been finding some really, really cute cows. And I responded to their comment and I said, oh my gosh, what if I could find cows and chickens? That would be like my unicorn diamond painting. Well, guess what? I found it. Look at that. Tell me that is not the cutest thing you have ever seen. It's a cow and a rooster. I'm so thrilled, so excited about this one. This is gonna look so amazing and I think that it has been, it's charted really good and it's nice and clear and the image is gonna show up really nice. Let me just fold that backwards real quick. It is a nice pliable canvas. It should lie flat for you fairly quickly. There are 23 colors. We got all letters in our key. Stick is very good. It's a nice sparkly canvas too. I can really see the sparkle in this one. Um, and it is Confetti City. So you are gonna have a good time uh, with this one. Even this background here is just all confetti. Look at that. All the symbols are mixed up. Not mixed up, but you know what I mean. It has a, it's very mixed drill, which is gonna be nice. It's gonna give that a, a really nice effect in the background. And my rooster looks exactly like him. I love my rooster. I think he's so handsome. I don't have any cows. Maybe someday, doubtful that Jeff will ever let me have cows. But they're standing behind a white picket fence and the rooster is standing on top of a couple of bales of straw or hay. And just a real simple country picture. I think this is gonna look great in my kitchen. I think I might do this one and put it in my kitchen when it's finished. So 23 colors, I think I said that, but let's take a look at them. Whoops. If I can avoid dropping them on the floor. Okay. Oh, look at that blue. Look at, to start with, that's gonna go in his tail. That is gonna be amazing. Then we have a dark plum, a rosy red, a bright reddish pink. Ooh, look at that, like aquamarine. That's probably gonna go in his tail as well. Very little bit of this dark burgundy. Black, I'm thinking that's black. It can't be black. What's 12? 844, I'm having a hard time with that one today. Dark brown, another burgundy. And yet another burgundy, my gorgeous favorite colors. Love that color scheme, dark brown. We have some light cream, some medium cream, and some darker cream, three bags of that. So that's gonna be primarily your background or your bales of straw, one or the other. Could be both. Actually, it does look like they both use the same um, they're using some of the same colors in both. Green, mauve, caramel brown, and this is probably my black. Yep, quite a bit of black for that cow, of course, and some 154 purple. Then we've got some white for the cow's head, some more mauve, some gold, caramel, and peach. And those are the 23 colors that are gonna make up this marvelous cow and rooster, yay! I'm so excited about this one. I can't wait until these holidays are over and I can start concentrating on diamond paintings that don't have a necessary theme or that I don't have to do as a gift for someone because this one is gonna be on top of my list. This one's gonna get ranked right up there with uh, one that I wanna do. Just because it's so Angie. It has my name written all over it. Very cute. I love the color scheme too. Um, I love all the browns and, and, and um, tans and, and burgundies. It's gonna be really nice. All right, now we're going to leave him so we can see him. Well, at least the cow. We'll leave him right there so we can still check him out while I move on to the next one. Okay, so we're going to be here for maybe a little while longer than usual today. 
I hope everybody is okay with that. All right, this one feels like a partial, or it feels smaller. No, it's not a partial. It's a full drill, but it's a little bit smaller. And this is a really nice, soft, pliable canvas. I love soft, pliable canvases. And I picked this one because I just loved it, for one thing, and because it was kind of a very cool, quiltish looking um, way to celebrate Independence Day and kind of a uh, little bit, it's a little patriotic. Um, it's, you know, American flag colors. Um, it kind of has that patriotic feel, uh, but not necessarily a flag. And I thought it was really cute. So this one is a 30 by 30. It has 17 drill colors, which isn't bad considering, you know, all it, all it is. I think that's going to be plenty of drill colors. Like I said, nice pliable canvas. It's almost laying flat already and I just unrolled it. So standard tool kit and the drill field is all letters. Got two legends, of course. I didn't test the sticky when I pulled that back. Very sticky. And I just love this. I love that I got it in time too, that I'm not like waiting until, this is gonna be perfect for Memorial Day, um, Labor Day, Veterans Day, 4th of July, all of those good patriotic American holidays. Let's see what we've got. For, these are interesting colors, wow. But you know what, I believe it's gonna work. Do you realize there's not any white on this? There's no white whatsoever. It's all peaches and tans. So we start with a peach. Then we have a medium blue. Then we have a salmony red. Purple, which is going to highlight that blue. Another uh, kind of a rosy pink or an orangish rosy pink. Mauve. Ooh, look at that blue. That's a gorgeous blue. These drills look really nice too. They look nice and clean and sparkly. Orangish red. Nice royal blue. Two more blues, medium blues. Those blues are going to look really great together. I really like this bright blue here. That's gorgeous. What DMC is that? 995. I think that might be a that might be my new favorite color, blue. So then we've got some um, like dark flesh tone and a bunch of peach. So all of our, our white areas are going to be like peachish areas, actually. Red and red. So probably 666 and 498 or 321. Let's see. Three and four. Three is 321 and 666, yep. So you're gonna be mixing those. Then we have pink, a light pink, and a little bit darker burgundy red, 150. And I think that I'm gonna love that. That's gonna look really good. I'm glad I picked that out. That was kind of a afterthought, and um, I'm glad that I got that one. I think it's gonna make for, it's gonna look so good framed too. And you know, you can frame a 30 by 30 in a 10 by 10 inch frame, and then you'll have a half an inch on either side showing. So what you can do is you can either paint with acrylic paint um, your edges so you don't see them and then let that act as the matting, or you can cut it off at the edge and use and, and mount it onto poster board and use it kind of it as a reverse mat um, for your background. Um, and you could choose, you could, you're kind of wide open of what color you wanted to choose. You could go anywhere within any of these colors or even something totally different. Um, and it would look really good. Okay, on to the last diamond painting that I have to show you. And then we'll get on to that other product that I was telling you about that I think that you're going to be excited to see um, you may have seen it already and maybe you're curious about it. And so I want to um, show it to you. Oh, special drill. You know I couldn't leave the show without a special drill painting. And this is the one that I have for today. 
isn't it gorgeous? It's a very nice pliable canvas and it is a red flower. I think it's, it looks like it's probably, I would say a, I don't know what kind of flower that is. I'm, I, I can't think of my flower names right now, but with a monarch butterfly. Now, um, we here in Michigan where I live have, this is where monarchs come to do their um, chrysalises and turn into, uh, lay their eggs and do their transfer, turn into caterpillars and do their transformations. And it's really fun to watch in the summer. Um, they uh, only will do this on a certain plant and it's really, uh, it's fun to go out and find their chrysalises attached to the back of the milkweed. Um, and it's just, it's a, it's a fun thing to do. So we have nine different drill types. And it looks like it's going to be a little bit of like a bubble look to it. Even though it just has this plain back background, black background. Um, it looks like we're going to have small drills, medium drills, and large drills that might all be the same color that are going to go into each of the petals. And the same thing around the yellow part here in the center and the same thing in the butterfly. So let's take a look and see what we have. If I can find where to open it. If I can only find where to open it. All right. Here we go. So we have this beautiful ruby red, lots of that. So that's gonna be the main part of our flowers. We have black resin drills. So that's gonna be the outline of our uh, butterfly. Some clear crystals, some yellow crystals, some gold. Then we have some medium sized gold. So that's gonna go into the butterfly, these two golds one regular size, one medium size. Then we have some medium size yellow, so that's gonna go into the center part of our flower. I can't remember what that's called. Is it called the statement? No, pistol? No. I. Some teacher out there will tell me what it is. <laughs> the yellow part of the flower. Um, so we have small yellow and medium yellow. And then we have some, ooh, this is interesting. So our, are those globe topped or are those faceted? Okay, so we have medium faceted red and large faceted red. And those are gonna go with our other small red and that's going to make up the um, petals of the flower. And that's gonna look really cool to have those three sizes. And I thought that this was neat because it is a bubble type picture, but I thought that it was cool that it wasn't full drill. So that's why I got this one just for a little bit different, I thought that this would be, um, it would be a cute look, very cute look. And that is the end of the diamond paintings that I got from GBFKE. Now let's move on to the other product that I got. I had seen this in a few stores and I really wanted to try it. So um, when GBFKE asked if I wanted to pick out some items, I of course said sure, and this is one of the items that I wanted to try. It is um, on their site as a diamond painting sealer. And it says that it's rapid curing, multi-purpose, all-in-one sealer, non-toxic and safe, clean and gloss finish. So the, you get 40 ounces, or is that four ounces? 100 milliliters. I think it's gotta be four ounces. There's not 40 ounces in there. Come on, Ange. Um, 100 milliliters. So and it is so I tried it because I wanted to first I wanted to show it to you the finished result and then I want to show it to you I actually do it. So I tried it I I had something I wanted to seal and it was this bag. I wanted to seal the drills on this bag. So I used the sealer and it worked. I mean, I can't I can't get these drills off and it did not diminish from the shine whatsoever. They're still sparkly as all get out. It didn't make them hard. Like I know like Mod Podge could make diamond paintings really hard. Um, it didn't do that. It didn't dull it. It didn't leave it gloopy. 
Um, and I was a little nervous about using it on a bag because I was nervous about it, you know, seeping off the edges and looking bad, but it doesn't. It really, really took to it really great. So I'm just gonna take a minute and show you how it works. And I've got another diamond painting here that I need to seal. So let me just show you. I've got this cute little partial. It's gonna be a um, a standing, a stand a stand with these little guys that hang in the middle so I shook it it doesn't say to shake it there aren't any instructions with it when you take the cap off initially for the first time you have to take off this I and I've already done it because I've already used it there's a safety lid on here you have to take this lid off this cap off and um, remove that with a knife or some scissors or something sharp. And then it has this felt pad that lets the sealer come up through. So all you do is just push down and enough of it comes out when you do that. And this, see, I, at first I was a little bit leery of this method because before I've used paint brushes, um, or paint sponges and I was a little leery of this method because I didn't know if enough of the material would come out in order to cover the drill area um, but it really does come out nicely now it does come out a little bit opaque and I'm just going to do this really quick and show you what it looks like after I've put this on here it does come out a little bit opaque when it's wet but when it dries, I wanna make sure I get the edge of this because these weren't sticking on as well as I would have hoped. When it dries, it dries crystal clear. So I just wanna make sure that I've gotten every place. And I've had the, this open and the lid on it for a couple of days. And that pad didn't dry out at all. You saw when I pushed my finger on it, it was nice and wet still. So the lid keeps it protected and keeps it nice and nice and uh, nice and moist. But you can see, put the lid back on, that when it's wet, it's just a little bit opaque. You probably you can't almost even tell. But when it dries, it really, really does dry with no residue. And the drills are really, like I said, look at how shiny they still are. It does not dull the drills at all. So if you were wondering about this product, I would have to say that it's a win. Um, I really like it. I, uh, I'm gonna start using this instead of Mod Podge for sure. I really think that this is a good project product and it's reasonably priced and I it's gonna go a long way too um, I think that you're gonna find that you're not gonna go through this like I know like um, oh what's that one other product aqua something um, or even Mod Podge you go through like a lot of it at a time it's very you know you go you just you just use so much of it um, but it seems like this is gonna last quite a bit it seems to be a little bit thinner consistency than Mod Podge and um, I really yeah so I'd say this is a win so if you were wondering about it I just thought I would share it with you guys and let you know my opinion of it and how I felt it worked and I think it works pretty well and I'm looking forward to using it on all my things that need to be sealed so thank you GBFKE thank you to you guys for watching and uh, I will link all of the products in my description tab and if you have any other questions feel free to let me know down in the comment section and I'll get back with you um, I will see you guys in my next video but until then I hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you soon thanks a lot bye